Welcome to 12 Tia Health. I'm Dr. Derek DeSilva. It's the leading cause of death here in the U.S. We're talking about stroke. It can affect people of all ages and races. Joining us with what you need to know is Dr. Spozmi Panazai. She's a neurologist at JFK Medical Center in Edison. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. So what's a stroke? So a stroke is a sudden disruption of blood flow to the brain. Um, and it can happen um, in two main ways. Uh, the most common type of stroke there is are, are what we call ischemic strokes. And this is the type of stroke that happens when a particle, a blood clot, blocks um, blood flow through a blood vessel. And so the brain tissue is deprived of oxygen and nutrients it needs to function adequately. Right. Um, the other type of stroke uh, is what we call a hemorrhagic stroke. And that happens when a blood vessel ruptures and blood seeps into the brain tissue um, nearby. And um, so the, in that way, blood flow is disrupted to the brain as well. Warning signs, what typically do we need to look for? Well, there are n a numerous warning signs uh, of a stroke, and it really depends on which part of the brain is affected. Mm -hmm. But the, the key thing to the warning sign are that it's a su of sudden onset. So sudden onset weakness or numbness on one side of the body, sudden onset of uh, difficulty speaking or understanding, sudden behavior change, sudden difficulty walking um, or having difficulty with balance, right. sudden vision loss or a severe headache of unknown cause. All of these can be stroke warning signs. Uh, what about risk factors? Typically blood pressure, right? Yes, absolutely. High blood pressure? There are you know, t uh, different categories of risk factors. There are ones that are non-modifiable, so you can't really change them and mm -hmm. then there are ones that are modifiable so the important ones that to focus on are the modifiable ones sure um, so these include things like high blood pressure smoking mm -hmm. obesity uh, diabetes um, things like that right. high cholesterol and I think where you go how quickly you get there is really the issue when we talk about stroke and it's and heart disease can you just address that very Absolutely, quickly? Absolutely, yes. Time is of essence, and we often say with stroke, time is brain. Um, so, it, so that's why it's so important to recognize the symptoms of a uh, stroke um, and to call 911 immediately so that you can present to the emergency room as soon as possible. Now, there are different types of hospitals mm -hmm. um, for stroke. There are primary stroke centers, which basically they can, um, they can evaluate stroke patients and give them w uh, clot busting medication mm -hmm. to try to treat a stroke. And there are comprehensive stroke centers, which offer more comprehensive care for complex and that's, stroke And is patients. that where JFK is involved in the more yes. comprehensive approach yes. to this whole thing? We are a state designated comprehensive stroke center and a joint commission certified comprehensive stroke center. Dr. Panasai, thank you very much thank for joining us. Thank you very us. much. Thank you.